You see this armor? Base space armor in Star Citizen. I wanted this armor to sell to other players. Everybody that wears this armor is security. So if we kill them, we'll get a crime stat. This is where our first journey begins. Where we need to turn off the comma ray. We managed to turn off the Comoray, but there was another ship attacking our Corsair. Fuse and Thunder managed to kill the NPC, but the NPC decided to ram us as it was soft death. The Corsair started to spin out of control and the turrets disabled our engines. Eventually Fuse and Thunder got the Corsair under control and I told him to go repair and then come fetch me a little bit later. Now I was stranded left guarding the Comoray. It wouldn't take long for somebody to show up to the Comoray to disable it. I managed to murder them. Thank God they had their flashlight on so that I could see them in the dark. But eventually Fuse and Thunder would show up to come pick me up. As soon as I got in the turret, the arrow showed up, probably the guy that I killed previously to take revenge, but we couldn't lock onto him, Fuse and Thunder couldn't lock onto him, so we decided to jump to safety so that we don't get blown up. We safely arrived at the station and decided we're gonna take a Mercury Star Runner and go load up an Urza. With the Comoray disabled, it would be easy enough to do the bunker or so we thought. We quickly made our way to the bunker and realized that the turrets might be a little bit too strong for the Mercury Star Runner so we took out the Ursa Rover to go take care of the turrets. The bunker was now secure, or so we thought. Fusion Thunder managed to find the player close by that was at the bunker and decided to engage. Fusion Thunder got downed out of nowhere giving us the indication that there is a second player as well. I decided to retreat back into the Ursa to use the remote turret to secure the perimeter. At this point I just wanted to save Fuse and Thunder's body. Since he's only down, he's not finished yet. I wanted to see if I can use the Ursa to cover his body and secure him while scouting the perimeter. So I decided to go try and pick Fuse and Thunder up and hopefully not get shot. After securing Fuse and Thunder, I needed a bathroom break. So I left him in the Ursa Rover to see if he can find anybody around and secure the perimeter. 
it wouldn't take long for another target to show up at the bunker and Fusion Thunder had to protect our Mercury Star Runner. Eventually I showed up from my bathroom break, ready to engage the target as well, so I decided to take the back door of the Ursa rover and get on the Mercury Star Runner and try to save it. Fusion Thunder was trying to distract the target while I was boarding the Mercury Star Runner so that I can save our ship. After fighting through countless doors, I eventually got to the cockpit and was able to take off just with a little bit seats left trying to save the ship. Fusion Thunder was still going at it trying to engage the ship and peppering it with bullets. Eventually I gained enough shield to engage the target again and try to disable it. The Mustang might be a starter ship but it flies much better than the Mercury Star Runner in atmosphere and eventually I had to use missiles to catch up with it so that I can disable the engines. After a big cat and mouse game where the target constantly ran away, I was able to get some good hits on the target and do some serious damage so that they lost a wing. After a long fight the target finally gave up and the sun was just about to rise. Perfect for our bunker mission that we can do to loot some armor so that we can sell to other players and make a profit. Our mission was successful even though we had a lot of conflict and engagements along the way.